My name is Tiffany Stewart. My stylist name is Aura Locks. Um, I am born and raised in Queens, New York. Currently reside in Houston, Texas. Um, I've always loved natural hair. My first, first business ever in life was braiding hair in high school. Everybody had the hot iris and braids and whatnot. So that was like my thing. Um, but what really propelled me into the world of locks is when I decided to lock my own hair 10 years ago. And um, right around that time, I became a new mom and money wasn't really coming in like that. So I was forced to learn how to really learn and care for my hair. Um, and as that grew, I just always have a drive to work for myself, my uh, inspiration is my dad. So owning a business and just having that freedom and time management just was really the, the pie for me being a single parent. Um, so when the pandemic hit, um, I really used that opportunity to really test the boundaries. It was my time to shine and see, okay, how can I sustain this as a business? Is it really meant for me? Do I have enough knowledge and talent to, you know, last just on my own? And from there, I was, I wasn't able to look back, thankfully. So that's, that's what really started me in this world I just noticed from my personal experience being a client and locks not being so popular there wasn't very much information and a lot of people you go to yeah they're great and take care of your hair but a lot of the locticians weren't educating the clients a lot of people do not realize Hair loss is not just, oh, I got to let everybody and your mama in my hair. People forget that just um, lack of nutrients in your diet, um, low water intake, and stress. People don't understand stress. Actually, that's not just something our moms and grandmas were just telling us just because it sounded good. Like, stress really can affect your body in all types of ways so imagine extreme stress in your life then lack of a, a vitamin deficiency your body is a plant just like how you have to water and nurture it to see it green and grow and produce fruit you are a walking tree plant you have to feed yourself to make sure your roots and your crown are growing out healthy um a lot of people think of uh Alopecia, but there's also dermatitis. There, there are um, allergies that people think, oh, I'm just dandruff, my hair is dry and drenching their scalp with oil. But in reality, they have to cut out gluten. Something so small that is also tied to just a proper diet. Everything is 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 a circle it comes full circle so once you're able to fully nurture your inside of your body you will see the difference in your hair for sure describe my life in this industry in one word i will call it stardust reason I would say that is because a lot of things that glitter is in gold. A lot of things you think are solid facts and tangible things really could slip through our fingers. You gotta constantly put in the work, but you have to learn how to balance yourself. It's like literally a romantic relationship with a partner. If you're not able to know how to feed yourself, you can't feed your partner. So it's like, if I want to sustain my my life and my business in this industry, I got to know how to feed myself, when to be humble with myself, when to know that I could do better here, I'm great here, this and that, but also know when to say no. I want like that, I feel like that is a, 
big thing a lot of people don't talk about on a major platform that a lot of people in the beauty industry those who genuinely in their heart love doing this sometimes they and they start to really see that it's lucrative that they can actually make a living we're not talking about being millionaires we all have dreams you know but let's just be realistic those who can live comfortable and it and still enjoy what they do they don't talk about how easy it is to slip in a habit of being difficult to say no when you need to cut their hours don't don't work into this eight night seven days in a row you know it, it, it's certain things that we do need to have a healthy balance of self-care and drive when it comes to it. so stardust is what makes me think of that because it's so beautiful you can see it it's real but it can vanish in a moment if it's not in the proper element it's like i have like think of uh, a crop pot the old steaming pot with the little whistle on the top that's like my brain with all the thoughts it's just <laughs> but the plan I have right now, I recently opened up my first shop officially um, September 1st. It's located in the River Oaks area of Houston, Texas. Um, it is just me, myself, and I, and all of my beautiful tribe of people who come see me. But I also am working to expand myself to travel around state to state and then eventually country to country would be awesome i just want to spread my love of caring for locks and i want to put that out put this out there dreadlocks dreadlocks is not a negative word i do not personally believe it's a negative word um and my one fighting argument that I start off with everyone is we all love Bob Marley and one of his favorite songs one of a lot of people's favorite songs he probably says he's a dreadlock Rasta but Rasta himself not Kyao dreadlock's bad why do you think it's bad you know you, if we have the power of words then you could turn as we say we turn the end as a negative to a positive then we can see here and, and just do further research but Spreading my love of caring for locks and just the education of it is really my driving force. Um, I mean, let's let's just be real. Who wouldn't love to be be very wealthy? You know what I mean. But I want to be wealthy not just in money. It's just a whole experience of life. And eventually, I have other plans. But my um, shop name itself is Lock L O C apostrophe D. Dash N, the letter N is in Nancy. Dash L U V, lock in love. Anytime my hands brace your head, I purify myself with fluid water. I'm a spiritual person, and I feel like I am transferring energy with you. It's always gonna be good vibes, no doubt. It's so super simple because I know simple is just the way to go. So to find me on social media. I am uh, on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, it's going to be at the letter A as an apple, U for umbrella, R for Robert, A for apple, L for Larry, O for octopus, C for cat, Z for zebra, Aura La.